Hi, beautiful. You look stunning. Are you doing something different lately? Because you are glowing. Thank you for being here. Today we're watching some people bleach the f out of their hair. They're going to most likely destroy their hair and I can't wait to watch it. But before we do that, I have a sponsor today. It is Harry's. I love having a baby soft, smooth face. It makes my makeup go on better. It makes everything smoother. I feel fresh and I have Harry's to thank for that. Some people might think Harry's is just a men's brand and that's just not true. They just make great razors at an affordable price that can shave anything, no matter if you're male, female, or anything in between. Their razors give you that smooth, comfortable shave we all want. And what's even better is that Harry's supports great causes. They give 1% to nonprofit organizations. Harry's is passionate about providing fair price razors for everyone. No pink tags, no outrageous price tags, just premium quality at an extremely affordable price. This aloe infused shaving gel allows me to shave extremely close to my face. It's so creamy and so rich. My skin is so sensitive, so the aloe vera and cucumber calms my skin while I shave. I'm literally obsessed with this razor that is in this beautiful orange color. It just feels so right in my hands and in my face. There's five blades on here and girl, they are sharp. The fact that Harry's is chic, it's high quality and it's inexpensive. That's what I'm looking for in a brand. So you can redeem your trial set for just $3 when you go to harrys.com slash Brad. That is also linked below for you. You'll get a five blade razor, a weighted handle, a blade cover and their foaming shave gel. It's an incredibly great deal so act fast while supplies last. Thank you, Harry's, and let's continue on to watch some epic bleach fails. Let's do it. Up first, we have a video by Nox Sage. Um, this is called Bleaching My Hair Gone Wrong. Look how ugly that looks. We're starting off with a really bad uneven palette. It looks all around scary. And I hope that he doesn't start bleaching his ends again. Those things are already compromised as f So I don't have actual clips, so I have these. Oh my God, he's using chip clips to clip his hair up. At least he's sectioning. That's all I can really ask for at this point in my life. My hair used to be, when I first, well first I dyed it light brown and yeah, it looks like that. It was light brown. And then I bleached it. And it was like a light golden brown. And then I bleached it again. And it was orange. Like this color. And then I bleached it again. And it was blonde. And then I bleached it again. And then it turned out the same thing. And then I bleached it again. And it turned like this. Can we count how many times you just said he bleached his hair and put the number on the screen? I think it was around six or something like that. His hair is going to all snap off. As long as he just does the roots and not the ends, it'll all be fine. So, dirty volume, bleed. I hope he doesn't leave it on for too long. And I just hope to God that he does not bleach those ends again with 30 volume and then leave it on for like an hour or something. Like that is the worst thing of all that could happen right now. I'm so happy with these sections. They are really well done. So I'm hopeful that he has some skill here. We're starting. Okay, we're doing the roots. He's doing a great job. I know he only put one little splash of bleach on his head, but so far, no! Oh no, it's fine. I thought he was doing the ends and I kind of got scared for a second, but it's fine, he's not doing the ends. That was beautiful. You see the way he just sectioned that hair out? That was talent. So far, so good. I don't really know where he's gonna go wrong. Unless he just overlapped a lot on what he just did, it might end up causing breakage, but his hair looks very coarse and thick. Typically, it's not gonna snap off too easily, so he might be okay. What is going on now? Anything that's going on now, I don't like. I hate it, I hate it, I hate it. Oh my God. Oh my God. The hair is very, very bleached and already white. Why are we foiling it with 30 volume? This is really scary all of a sudden. Um, also, I'm happy that he's using enough bleach though. You see how he's saturating those sections all nicely? He knows kind of what he's doing, like a little bit. Put a timer for 20 minutes. There's so much heat going on right now. So he has the heat from his scalp. He has the heat from the foils and he put a bag on his head. So we're just getting like triple heat right now with 30 volume and he's gonna leave it on for 20 minutes. I mean, at least it's not like 45 or an hour, but it is going to get really really steamy in there and really over lighten his hair to the point where his hair is probably gonna snap off. Oh, I'm nervous. Okay, it's still on his head. The back looks nice and bright. It still looks a little yellow. Ew. 
no 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 Oh my God. So the weirdest part about this is that, well, I guess it's not that weird, but his hair is still not blonde. After like 25 times of bleaching it, it's still not blonde. But that's because he went like red before with a box dye or whatever he used before. I don't know if it was box dye, but I'm assuming it just will not fully come out. Like those molecules are locked in there and they're like, I'm not coming out. And so now he's bleached his hair to absolute oblivion and it is not coming back. Like this is it. It is falling out. It is done. It is over. It is its whole life is over. Oh, thank God we're cutting it. That's not how you cut hair. I'm just gonna be honest with you. That's just not how you cut it. What are these scissors? They came and cut through your hair. Girl, you better just go back dark, honestly. Like this is not worth it. This is mortifying. This almost like feels fake, but it's not. Like he's clearly cutting all of his hair off right now and it looks terrible. I'm shocked. I don't even know what to say. Oh, 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 I'm sorry. Okay, after I'm done, I'm gonna let this marinate. <laughs> so this is how uh, my hair turned out. So yeah, yeah, getting dewy. I look like an old grandpa, but that's all right. If you want to bleach your hair, um, just like do it. Cause live, laugh, love, lie. That's right. If you want to just color your hair, baby, live, laugh, love, and do it. They ended up with a really cute look. Um, even though I couldn't really see it, like it was a lot of shadow on your head. You trying to hide something or like what? What's going on here? Um, I feel like it was definitely still spotty and definitely all over the place, but at least it looked a whole lot better than what they started with. I wouldn't have done that. Next time, just do your roots um, or the yellow parts. Don't go and bleach the whole thing. And also just let's not switch our minds with the color all the time, you know? Let's just stick with one pattern. Let's not do red and then blonde and then blah, 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 blah. Let's just do blonde, you know? Wait for your hair to grow out, touch up your roots, touch up your roots every time they grow out. It'll look perfect and clean and beautiful and give you that perfect blonde all over. Just be precise like you were with your bleaching and just don't re-bleach your ends a million times, okay? Sadly, you know, your hair is coarse and very dark black, um, so it is gonna be very hard to lighten. Um, you are gonna have to do it multiple times to get it light, but you just need to be so careful not to push it too far like you just did. Don't ever do that again. Let's move on to the next video. Up next, we have a video by City Beach Girl 4, and this is called I Fried My Hair Off Bleach Veil Part 1. So if you guys can see, my hair is completely faded. It was periwinkle and soft lavender from a door, and it didn't look like this. Like, the hair looked more purple, and I lightened it, but the the amount of times I had light in the bottom, it was basically at a level 10 and my roots stood at like a level 9 I'll say. So you can see the banding, so what I'm thinking is to strip it. Okay, so already her hair looks a bit dry and a bit damaged, you know. She said her ends were at a level 10 when she last bleached it and her mids and roots at a level 9. So we got 9s and 10s working on there, so hopefully she's not about to bleach the entire thing again. But I think she is because she's trying to remove all of this color that she has in her hair. I don't know if that's even going to work. I don't know. This might be tough to remove. We shall see. And then applying lightener to the tops because I do have a little bit of root, but it's not so much where um, I would expect banding. I think it'll be perfect because the heat from my head would lighten it at a good enough speed to lighten. Yeah, I mean, you could have gone probably another two weeks without lightening it. I mean, there's literally a centimeter. I don't know how you're gonna get that root without overlapping and causing breakage, which, you know, I, it, she probably did do that. So we'll see. So I'm going to do a baking soda bath. I feel like it's gonna be healthier, but I'm gonna use some dish soap, 20 volume developer. I would use 10 but I don't have 10, so I'm not even gonna bother. And I'm also gonna use some Shimmer Lights Purple Shampoo. Normally I'd say this is fine, but she's trying to remove all of her color. She's not just trying to like do another bright color over what she has. She's trying to fully remove the color, I think, and like do blonde. So she's going to have to bleach it again. Starting off with, you know, using baking soda and dish soap all over your head and then bleaching it is going to be awful. It's gonna dry your hair so much before you then bleach it. I'm horrified. And we are going right onto those roots that have not been lightened yet, which is going to cause them to lighten because you're using 20 volume. So <sighs> I don't know, it just doesn't seem like a good idea, but I don't think you need the purple shampoo and it's gonna actually just bring you back a step rather than forward a step. I'm gonna use a bag to try to lock in some heat. 30 minutes, I'm gonna rinse this out and hopefully as much pigment is gone, 
hopefully I don't have to do a round two. Typically these things are like quick ways of lightening out color. It's more like you put it in, you wait five minutes, you kind of mush it around, really rough up the cuticle a little bit, and then rinse it out with warm water and it should come out. 30 minutes is a long time for this. It didn't strip all the color. It definitely didn't look like it stripped enough of the blue, but like the pink just became like a bubblegum pink. So we're gonna apply the bleach from the roots to like the banding line. Ah! That's the worst idea ever. So you're gonna need to bleach your roots first. You know, do the darkest parts first, let those process. And then when they achieve that kind of yellowy color that your mids are at, then you can start pulling through some color on the mids and let that sit for like five or 10 minutes. But you don't wanna let the whole thing process at the same amount of time because you're gonna end up with really yellow roots and white, white mids that will probably fall off because they're both processing at the same amount of time and they're both very different colors so not a good idea mix another bowl of bleach with a uh, 20 volume developer for the end no 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 literally at this point all you need to do is put a toner on your hair toner is a miracle for like trying to reverse any like fashion colors you have going on i would just recommend toning it a blonde color instead of trying to lift it all out with bleach because it's not gonna happen. You're always gonna have that a little bit of a tint left over. And we're reapplying the lightener to the mids and roots. We're putting fresh bleach on that hair. That means it's going to lift even further. We're mixing 30 volume and 20 volume, which makes a 25 volume. It's going to, it's a lot. Stop reapplying the bleach, stop. Oh my God, I'm so scared to brush it. Don't touch your hair though. I'm trying to do it little by little so there's not as much damage. Normally I would be like, don't touch your hair. It's it's wet, it's at its most fragile state. Like don't do that. There's no saving this. Like all the pigment in her hair is completely gone. The whole structure has been compromised. Everything's just gonna come off. Like it's gonna go. It's, it, this isn't gonna dry. This is really, really, really bad. I went to the salon because clearly I needed it cut off. After spending $80, they cut it what is what. Instead of saying like, you know, she couldn't do it. She said she could do it. No worries. She threw a price $40. Then in the mix of it, she kept saying, oh, I have this serum that I could put on your hair. I have this serum I, I could put on your head and it's gonna fix everything. It's gonna soften all your hair. I'm not a barber, so I don't keep clippers. From the photo, I told her, like, she was like, oh, see, look, it looks pretty. And then she hits me with, this is why I'm mad. I'm not a barber, so I don't keep clippers. So if you seen in the photo, the girl has a buzz cut that you know you need to do with clippers. Why tell me you could take me from the get? Ooh. Whoa, okay, yeah, that's a no, 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 no. Makes me mad. I mean, this hairdresser told you that she could do what you wanted, then took you as a client, then added on extras, and told you that she doesn't have clippers? Go, if you're cutting hair, you should have clippers. That's crazy, I'm sorry. Also, if you don't have clippers, you can do scissor over comb, babe. You don't need clippers. You can do everything with your scissors. This is a lesson learned. I need to stop crying and being a baby. I think I'm just emotional because I felt like I could come out the end. You know, if you mess it up, just dress it up. You could totally shave your head. I think it would look so good. And I think it'd be great to just start over. I think that's your best option. Other than that, I do like the haircut that you brought into the hairdresser. I would say go with that. All you gotta do is section out this top bit, shave the underneath. It'll look dope. It'll look really cute. I guess there's three options. You could also keep what you have now. Do a little root shadow. It definitely needs a toner desperately. It's still in that really raw white kind of yellow stage. You need to give it a little more depth. And then also just put in like a pomade or a gel and slick it all back. It'll look so cute. It'll really complement your face shape and it'll look beautiful. I think your hair is still salvageable. At least it's dry. That means you have a little bit of health left in there and just keep doing some treatments and masks and just take good care of it and don't ever do that again. Those were so bad. And I hope both of you guys are doing well um, and are all good and your hair is growing back nicely. And I just hope everything's fine. You know, everything's going good now. We're not doing this anymore to ourselves. Cool. If you guys aren't already subscribed, make sure you do right down below. Hit the like button and the bell icon to be notified every time I post a new video. Make sure you follow me everywhere else. Here are all my social media handles all around me. 
go for it. This is my phone number. Make sure you text me. Yes, I really do see some of your texts. And yes, I really will be texting back a few of you guys if you text me right now. This will also keep you notified every time I post a new video. Make sure you guys check out my hair care line and my color line at xmodohair.com. It is linked below. You can also check us out on Instagram at xmodohair and xmodocolor for amazing hair inspiration. You can shop my Live Your Extra Life merch. We have sweatpants, hoodies, t-shirts, bags, hats. It's so freaking cute. I wear it all the time. Basically in every video I'm wearing my Live Your Extra Life pants. If you ever want to know what's underneath the table, it's the pants. You can shop the merch right down below. Today's Instagram shout out goes to Madison. She says, I've been very shades of blonde my whole 25 years of life. Is that like my color or should I rock something else? I'm fair with neutral undertones, green eyes, and I'm recovering from trick. So I don't have a ton of hair. Maybe a semi demi permanent color. I don't know. Okay, I really like your hair color now. I think if anything, maybe just a darker root or just some low lights thrown in there to give you more dimension and make your hair look a little bit fuller. But I do like the blonde on you. And if you do have a little bit of hair loss going on, then the blonde is gonna help make your hair a little more coarse and more full and thicker. So I think this is a good choice for you. I also like the length. I really don't have much I would say. Maybe just try a middle part. I think it would look really good on you. Maybe a little more wavy. Even a little shorter would look cute, but I like what you have going on and it looks really good on your skin. And yeah, I feel like you're just like a blonde for lifer. I hope that helps you. I know it wasn't much, but I think you look beautiful the way you are. That's all for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to live your extra life and I'll see you next time. Bye guys.